It could hurt you in different ways. It could knock you down hard. Sometimes the bomb might explode without any warning. Errol Spence Jr. is dropping bombs on the division. The truth hurts! But Lamont Peterson isn't one to duck and cover. I'm not scared of any man. It's a welterweight war between Spence and Peterson in the first big title fight of 2018. It's showtime! The undefeated IBF welterweight champion of the world, the truth, Errol Spence Jr. Lamar Peterson! Touch gloves. Good luck. They both talked about bringing out the dog at each other. We're about to find out. Peterson wearing the purple trunks and the black wearing the... Which is a little tricky because defensively he can move out of the way. Left that landed moments ago for Errol Spence. You see that. And even his shoulders are very close. He's a very big and physical. Errol Spence is just trying to get that range, get the measure, measuring distance. And Peterson is just trying to get the rhythm of Errol. The way I look at it, the first three or four rounds will be high-level chess. Which he will probably land a big shot, and then he's going to try to open up and really test the psyche of Errol. Rip cage of Lamont Peterson. Under a minute left here in the first. Another straight left hand to the body of Lamont Peterson. See, I'm not sure if that's a low blow because... Lamont Peterson came on and tried to take the center of the ring. And Spence is doing what I said he should do is just trying to keep that distance. And the doc again warning Spence about low shots. Left side of the ribcage of Harold Spence. But landing his substantial punch was Lamont Peterson. Nice straight right hand. Right hand right. that connected backed up. Harold Spence momentarily. But Spence goes right back to the body with the right hook. Finding everybody up to date by breaking them down. If you show him early on that he's not going to break you down, not to say he don't have one, but you make him go into that early. And then move, his family moved when he was very young to Texas, a right hook to the body. Coming upstairs. And Peterson backing up. It's Harold Spence. He Lamont Peterson, another one. And the fans, you can hear them voice their approval for Errol Spence. Now he's giving ground. The first two minutes of Lamont Peterson. They worked on absorbing heavy body shots, but you can't prepare for the kind of vicious body attack that Spence is going to throw at you. Because he's consistent in his body attack. And that's the end. Straight left to the abdomen of Peterson. Errol Spence has tendencies like a Mexican or Puerto Rican fighter to attack the body. It is so emblematic of that. And he's performing so well when it comes to ripping away on the body of Lamont Peterson. Spence is, in recent memory, one of the most lethal body punches that we have witnessed. And now Lamont Peterson looking to go to work. Washington, D.C. faithful voiced their approval. I know Spence complained about behind the head, but that was more in the ear. And now the action is picking up. A sweeping left cross. But back comes Lamont Peterson. Nice right up the cut. Left up the cut by Spence. Followed and Spence, he backed up Lamont Peterson.
this high level of concentration, seeing everything. Keep up, keep up. And keep, from a boxing that perspective, that's, that's exactly. Keep your hands up, defense tight. Well, from the tone of what Barry Hunter is telling Lamont Peterson, he doesn't want him to box, he wants him to fight. He realizes this right. has to turn into a fight. And not a boxing match, because if it is. Well, because Lamont Peterson keeps his chin tucked, his neck. His volume of punching isn't there. He's looking for one perfect shot. And I'm not sure he'll ever land it. And he's never really been a one-punch knockout artist. Right. And Spence spun around, turned to his right and threw an uppercut. Starting to see the athleticism by Errol Spence. Bad strategy. Right. 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 Two big left hands coming back is Errol Spence. And that backed up Peterson. In order for him to start to really have his way, he's got to start right now. You defeat the purpose again to your real estate. Look at Errol Spence backing up Lamont Peterson. Because he was standing, sitting inside, doing nothing, and allowing Spence to blow up. And Peterson's about the big sledgehammer left hand that backs up Lamont Peterson. And now Emma Spence is going for the finish. He's cold, he's calculated, and he is landing with accuracy. Look at Emma Spence, look at this array of punches. He's beating up Lamont Peterson. Lamont Peterson's face is starting to swell rapidly. 70 seconds remaining in the fifth as Spence continues to tattoo Lamont Peterson and walk him down. Hooks followed by uppercuts. Peterson with his back on the ropes. Peterson needs to grab, hold, buy some time. Hooks upstairs by Errol Spence. But back comes Lamont Peterson. And now Spence trying to tee off with right hooks. Another one. And he Backing knows. up Peterson. Peterson with his back on the ropes. But back comes Peterson. Peterson will not go down. But Peterson, his right eye is swelling up in a special fifth round by Errol Spence Jr. And then it's the fifth. And you can see here. Lamont Peterson is just standing on the inside, allowing Spence to load up and tee up. Four unanswered shots there. The sixth round scheduled for 12, Errol Spence making the first defense of his world championship against Lamont Peterson. Peterson hurt big time in the fifth, having gone to the canvas. Another straight left that landed for Errol Spence. Un unable to land that left hook. He's telegraphing. He's loading up, twisting his whole body around before he bring the hook over. And he has abandoned the jab. Peterson should be popping the jab. He got hurt last round. Hooks to the body now by Errol Spence. Get back under control by working the jab. Errol Spence is in attack mode right now. Well, he is. Back in this fight, you have to do the little intangibles. Work the jab. Tie Errol up. Stop his momentum. Hooks followed by uppercuts. Heavy shots by Errol Spence that back up Lamont Peterson. There's too many punches coming from different angles. And Errol Spence is turning, twisting. Getting full leverage behind his shots. We're seeing hooks, uppercuts. Make Errol Spence, Spence think twice. Well, left hook dead connected by Lamont Peterson. Here's a nice body shot. Another straight left, and you could just tell by the body language that Peterson is getting beaten up in there. But a right hook. And a big straight left hand 
bounced off the skull of Peterson and then attacked. Yeah, he's, he's trying to get Peterson to make a mistake and open up. Nice. A big straight left. left hand, and now he's stepping over. We see the athleticism by Errol Spence being displayed by, by an uppercut. Now he's getting some showman points. I mean, Peterson did a little better job of not getting hit that much. But That's still. only because... And now Errol Spence with a straight left, and now he's walking down, running down. Come on, Peterson. That's the end of the seven. Look at me. Yeah. What's up? Second down. 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 And the fight is over. Errol Spence Jr. halts Lamont Peterson. And you can see At that the was a end tough, of seven. tough decision for Barry Hunter. He wanted him to no, go out no, there, no. but too, too much love and compassion for the young man. He is the winner by way of technical knockout, and he is still the undefeated IBF welterweight champion of the world.